Congratulations to Mass Deadly Dashy. Shout out to Mass Deadly Dashy. His channel link is in the description. Congratulations to all the other Bengals fans, Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, Joe Burrow absolutely took fucking advantage of us today. There's no fucking question about that. And by the end of the game, we don't even got a fucking enough corners to fill out that depth chart. I mean, AJ's injured, Hayward's on IR, D. Alford's out. Fucking Mike Ford got injured. Jalen Hawkins injured. Our secondary is fucking toasted at this point, dude. We gotta fucking sign somebody and pray that AJ's injury ain't as fucking severe, you know, as, you know, I mean, it, it was listed as a hamstring injury. Hopefully, you know, if he does have to miss time, it's only a game or two. But at the end of the day, Joe Burrow, you know, outside of those few sacks we got on him, he was able to put it wherever the hell he wanted to. I said this, you know, on my live stream. It could be a second and 40, and Joe Burrow would still get the first down. I mean, it was to the point where, you know, we our secondary was just so awful that if Joe Burrow wanted to put the ball over the Ohio River into the state of Kentucky, he could. <laughs> But shout out to the Cincinnati Bengals. You guys just took advantage of us. You blew us the fuck out. 35-17, the final score. Uh, that That's really all. You know, what we want to do, run the football, set momentum. You know, you guys winning the coin toss and receiving really was big for you guys. Because you were able to set your momentum. And you really just took control from right there. So, shout out to you guys. However, you know, I, I don't feel all down. That's the other thing. I don't feel all down like a lot of Falcons fans are because we're still tied for first in this damn division. Tampa Bay Buccaneers fucking looked absolutely embarrassing today against Carolina, which who we have next week here in Atlanta. I'll be at the game. Um, so, hey, you know, we're still in it, still in it for the division. Today was a rough game all the way around. You know, Pitts and London only getting 18 yards combined is absolutely, you know, you have to get those to the football. It just has to happen. Two top 10 picks, your last two top 10 picks and you're not getting them involved, you know, is a very bad look. You have to get your top guys involved. You have to get them going because if you can get them going and you can get this run game going, that makes this offense just much more dangerous. But on to the Carolina Panthers. I'll make a video about the, about the game. I think if we don't make the mistakes Tampa Bay did today, I think that we should be able to win this game against Carolina. I just feel like we don't have to take them for granted. We have to play them like they're a serious team. We are the better team than them. We just have to run that football. We have to keep DJ Moore in check. Hopefully we got a corner to keep him in check. You know, we, we're going to have to sign someone during the week. But, you know, I do think we should beat Carolina next Sunday. But, you know, lost the game. You know, every loss is a tough loss. But on to Carolina. Shout out to Dashie, all the Bengals fans. I said Cincinnati would win this game. I didn't expect them to absolutely blow us the fuck out. But they did. Took advantage. Next man up sport. And clearly we didn't have a next man up that could fucking hang with the Cincinnati Bengals receivers. So shout out to the Cincinnati Bengals. And shout out to Mass Ellie Dashie and I'm out.